In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to show you how to swap faces when you have multiple shots of a group taken at the same time from the same perspective. This is helpful when you see shots like this, where you have a couple of people in the first shot who are not paying attention, you're not getting the kind of look you want. When I click on the next one, it's a little better, but the gal on the right has her eyes shut. And we click on the next one, and that's different, slightly different texture, coloring. The next one is probably one I wouldn't use because the gentleman is not on the same plane as the group anymore. The one on the right, he's forward. And the next one would be the same, but it's an interesting headshot of him. Which one can I use? How can I mix them? There is a tool in PhotoDirector 365 that allows you to swap faces for the best result. It's not perfect, but it does do some nice things that might be usable if someone just wants a, a photo of the group. Let's look at how we can use it. We're going to click on the Guided button at the very top. It wants to save a copy. I'm fine with that. Then we're going to go into the Photo Merge subcategory on the left and take the third option down called Face Swap. I'll click on that. And now here I have my pictures, all five of them. I'm going to take and highlight them and drag them up into the upper area. This gives me my five shots. Then it wants one of them to be kind of the base shot. I probably wouldn't pick one of these two since the gentleman's forward toward the lens. Any one of these first three would be fine. Let's pick this one. And then I click on the Merge button. So the program will attempt to look at all the faces and give me some options on which one I might like to use, which one might be the best. I have a pop-up that I can make go away, telling me I click on the face frame I want, and I can change it. So obviously this isn't the one I want here. That doesn't even look like his face. So I'm going to click here, and here are some options. I think this darker one is the original one. I'll click on that, click on OK. And yes, that looks like the normal face, but watch what happens when I click on another one. Oh, there's where the other one came from. Let's click on this one here, click on OK. And then we have a lighter face. You notice the head and neck motion is a little bit skewed. It doesn't do perfect, but it does it OK. So I'm going to go back, I think, to the darker one here for him. Let's look at the gal in the middle. A little light, and let's see what we can do to change that. We have a darker face here. Let's click on this one and click on OK. And that's not bad. We've got a little bit of change you see around, but that's a better shot. Now this one, her face is a little blown out. I'm going to click on that one. Let's take a darker one here and click on OK. And that's not too bad. Notice her whole, whole uh, clothing, her attire seems to change. It's got a darker cast to it. And for some reason, it didn't even identify the face of the gentleman on the left. I don't know why. These are the ones that, that the automated program gives us the option to do. So now if I think I have the best combination of all of them, I'm going to click on Save As. And I'll give it a name. And now it's saving a new copy, which will import into my library which is the one that I'm using here. Let me click back on Library. Here is my new one. And the best of the other ones might be this one here. But I think the new one is actually a better combination. And you can go in and make other edits, of course, in Photo Director on the composite if you want. But it's not a bad way to do this. It's especially useful if you have the shots that have been taken in a very rapid succession and there isn't a lot of body movement around the heads. Uh, but the farther away you get from that, the more uh, unrealistic it will look. But it's a nice tool to add to your arsenal in PhotoDirector 365.